uh, in this video we will solve the problems on simple stress and strain okay uh, the problem may contains the compound bars compound bar means the combination of like the uniform bar or tapered bar okay like that or two uniform bars one tapered bar uh, if combination is there and it is subjected to the loading condition like uh, axial uh, tensile load or compression load uh, uh, how we need to find out the deformation or unknown datas okay uh, this is how we need to find out in the previous video we, we derived the formula for different the cross sections like suppose the bar is uh, the uniform bar is there the uniform bar is there and it is subjected to tensile load p uh, what will be the formula we derived what is the formula for that the deformation the deformation we derived how much the deformation is there that is p l by e e right this, this is one formula we derived where p is applied load and l is the length of the bar and e is the cross section it is the round bar the area is co constant it is therefore the e is the uh, cross section area of this round bar and uh, e is Young's modulus okay that is the we derived the previous video also we derived the if a bar the the if the bar is having tapered cross section like uh, d1 and d2 this is d1 and d2 the different cross section the diameters and uh, length is there if length and it is subjected to applied load p that is tensile load p we also derived the formula for the deformation it means what is the deformation for the tapered bar the having round cross section area the d1 and d2 are the diameters that is same the basic formula is same the area will be changing here because here the constant area and here the area is the diameters are changing therefore p l is same length of the bar the a what is the a, e, e is same n's modulus is uh, constant uh, the same here throughout the bar a is that is what we derived pi by 4 d1 d2 right d1 d2 here pi by 4 d square this is d common d square but here instead of d square you, you are deriving d1 and d2 right d1 and d2 just change pi by 4 d1 d2 that is the uh, deformation of a tapered bar of round cross section this is round cross section Suppose the same deformation of a tapered bar with rectangular cross section that is if rectangular cross section with th thickness t and it is subjected to axial tensile load and here the width is this width is b1 and this width is b2 this width is b2 because it is a this is thickness t this is thickness t okay so what is the formula for uh, the deformation of a tapered bar with a rectangular cross section so here the deformation of this rectangular cross section of tapered bar is same p l by a e p l e is same what is the a here area because it is a the width is varying b1 to b2 b2 the largest to smaller b1 to from b1 to b2 and its thickness is constant t okay so the area is that is the b1 minus b2 divided by log to the base e b1 by b2 b1 by b2 into thickness because the normal the formula is uh, width into thickness width into thickness but thickness is same only width is changing width is b1 minus b2 how much is there divided by log to the base e b1 b2 these are our important formulas we derived in the previous video so the now the same formula we need to apply here to solve the problem here okay uh, now let us read the problem and uh, we will analyze one by one then we will apply the formula and we will solve the uh, problems here i will read the problem a round compound bar it is a round is there compound bar it means made of uh, two two or more compound bar is made of uniform bar of diameter 30 mm it is made up of the uniform bar first one is first the bar is uniform bar of diameter 30 mm uh, I can write it this one as the diameter 30 mm 30 mm attached with a 200 mm long 200 mm long tapering bar next to this the taper bar it attached and its length is 200 millimeter its length is 200 millimeter okay tapered bar 
with big end and small end diameters big end and small end diameters are 30 mm and 20 mm respectively it means the bigger end is same attached to that of the uniform the diameter it means the diameter of the bigger end of the tapered bar is equal to the diameter of the uh, uniform bar right because this is also 30 mm and the this bigger end of the tapered bar diameter also 30 mm so it is attaching what is the diameter of the smaller end here smaller end is 20 mm that is smaller end 20 mm this diameter is 20 mm and this diameter same 30 mm 30 mm respectively as shown in figure okay the compound bar is the total compound bar is subjected to an axial tensile force axial it is tensile force of 40 kN this is 40 kN it is as shown in figure here 40 kN okay next when the deformation in the round bar it means total round bar the when the deformation in the to, uh, round bar is limited to 0.2 mm it means after applying 40 kN the total deformation of this bar is 0.2 mm determine the length of the bar the length the length l1 the length l1 of the bar you need to find out the first uniform bar length okay this is the diameter and this is the problem they are given first we need to find out the what data they are given here okay first we will write the data okay uh, now you know the two it is a compound bar one is uniform bar one is taper bar okay first bar it is the uniform bar of diameter uh, i will take this one as first bar this one as second bar okay now the the diameter of the first bar is that is d1 d1 equal to 30 millimeter attached with a 200 millimeter long tapering bar this is tapering bar attached the length of the tapering bar is 200 millimeter it means second that is l2 equal to 200 millimeter 200 millimeter okay tapering bar with big end and small end diameters are 30 millimeter and 20 millimeter it's big end that is the same here the d2 that is that is d2 equal to d1 d1 equal to d2 equal to 30 millimeter 30 millimeter and d3 d3 equal to 20 millimeter and this i'm calling this one as the d1 this i'm calling this one as d2 this i'm calling it as d3 okay d3 respectively shown in figure the compound bar is subjected to an axial tensile load of 40 kN that is p equal to 40 kN 40 kN that will be equal to 40 into 10 to 3 10 to 3 newton okay when the deformation in the round bar in the round bar is limited to 0.2 mm total deformation is that is total deformation total deformation of the bar d that is um, dl of t total equal to 0 0.2 0 0.2 millimeter determine the length of the first uniform bar that is l1 equal to how much this is the problem he is asking here okay now if this is the case then how we will start first we will start with the we know that total deformation the by looking this scenario we will come to know that the total deformation of this bar is deformation of first bar plus deformation of second bar can i write because whatever deformation you are getting plus whatever deformation getting from second one and second is equal to total deformation okay that we can agree so now i'll write the total deformation that is total deformation total deformation of this compound bar is equal to so deformation of first bar plus deformation of second bar okay now the total deformation of the compound bar is given 0 0.2 millimeter that is 0 0.2 equal to now we will find out the deformation of the first bar this is uniform bar 
So what is the formula? PL by AE. PL by AE. So this is PL by AE. Okay. That is nor normal formula. Where P is same for both two. So you can write it P. So uh, L is length. The L1. And A is first bar cross section area. Young's modulus is constant. Okay. Next. Plus. Come to the tapered bar. What is the tapered bar? The formula again. Again I like apply here. P L by A E. Only A are changing for the bars. Remaining the length and everything. They are also changing. But P and Young's modulus is constant. Okay. So P is constant. L is length of the second bar. Length of the second bar. And area is length of the second. Length of the second. And Young's modulus. Okay. Now we will proceed again. Okay. Now, so total 0 0.2 in the left side equal to, you know P, what is the P here? P data given 40, 40 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. That is 40 into 10 raised to 3. That is P first one. And length L1, we don't know. We need to find out. Into L1 divided by A, A1. A1 is pi d square by 4 because this is a Uniform cross, uniform cross section and a round bar. So pi d square by 4. This I can write. Pi d means it is d1. This is d1 square, right? d1 square by 4. This is the area. Next, Young's modulus. Take, uh, in the problem here given, take e equal to, e equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5, 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Okay, this is the data in the he is given in the problem. Okay, uh, just consider this one. Okay, now Young's modulus that is E 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. This is the first bit here. Plus, now go to second bit. What is the P applied load? Same applied load is 40 into 10 raised to 3. 40 into 10 raised to 3. P is finished. L2. The length of the tapered bar is 200 millimeter. That is 200 millimeter. L2 into 200. PL finished. Now come to the area. Area of the tapered bar. What is the area of the tapered bar? We derived already. That is PL by AE. Uh, in that pi by 4 D1 D2. Instead of D square, you are getting this into this, right? It means here in the problem you will apply this D2 into D3, right? This is D2, this is D3. That is D1, uh, sorry, D2, D3. Pi by 4, D2, D3. Area. This is the area. Next, Young's modulus. That is Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Okay? Now, if you go there, the total, the 40... Uh, 40 into 10 raised to 3 into L1 we don't know and pi what is the D1 square D1 square is the first diameter pi into 30 square divided by 4 into 20 into 10 raised to 5 here next plus if you go to the next second bit right 40 into 10 raised to 3 into 200 divided by pi by 4 d2 d3 this is d2 this is d3 d2 is how much uh, d2 d2 is 30 millimeter into 30 d3 is smaller diameter is 20 20 into the Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5 here left side is 0 0.2 because the total deformation is 0 0.2 okay from this what you get what will come to know here how many unknown, unknowns are there? Only one. Only unknown. Therefore, after calculation, total L1, I am getting the length of the uh, uniform bar equal to 407 millimeter. Okay. So, this is the concept. Depending upon the data, what is given, you need to analyze. So, here total the deformation is, deformation, first you need to apply 
the total deformation equal to deformation of first bar plus deformation of second bar. Total deformation already is given that is 0.2 millimeter and note down the formula for deformation of the first bar and deformation of the second bar and which, which, which one is unknown data is there you need to find out here. Okay.